Is there really an island of trash bigger than Texas floating in the Pacific Ocean? You might have heard stories of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but how much of it is fact and how much of it is fiction? Stick around, because today we're going to be diving into the truth behind this massive environmental phenomena. Hey there, welcome back to Open Atlas, where geography meets exploration. In today's episode, we are uncovering the mystery of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Is it truly a floating island of trash? Where exactly is it? And why does it exist? Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content about the world around us. Location The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or GPGP, is located in the Pacific Ocean, roughly between Hawaii and California. It spans two major ocean gyres, the Western Pacific Gyre near Japan and the Eastern Pacific Gyre closer to North America. These gyres are massive systems of rotating ocean currents that essentially trap debris, creating what is known as the garbage patch. Size. Now, while the phrase island of trash might paint a vivid image, the reality is far more complex. The GPGP isn't some solid landmass that you can walk on. It's more like a soup of plastics, microplastics, and other debris that's spread across an estimated 1.6 million square kilometers. That's over twice the size of Texas. But instead of being just one giant floating landfill, it's a dispersed area of small particles, making it harder to see and even harder to clean up. When you hear island, you probably imagine a dense, compact mass of trash floating like a raft. That's not the case here. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is made up of billions of tiny plastic fragments suspended in the water column, many of which are smaller than a grain of rice. There are larger items too, like fishing nets and discarded bottles, but most of the patch consists of microplastics that are nearly invisible to the naked eye. So, no, you're not going to see the GPGP on Google Earth. And even if you sailed through it, you might not even notice it right away. But that doesn't make it any less of a problem. In fact, its dispersed nature makes it even more insidious and difficult to address. Marine life. The GPGP poses a massive threat to marine ecosystems. Animals like fish, sea turtles, and seabirds often mistake the plastic for food. When ingested, these plastics can block digestive systems, cause starvation, or introduce harmful chemicals into the food chain. Seabirds like albatrosses are particularly vulnerable, with studies showing that many chicks die from consuming plastic debris that's being brought back by their parents. Chemical pollution. Plastics in the patch don't just float harmlessly. They leach toxic chemicals into the ocean. These chemicals, including bisphenol A, also known as BPA, and phthalates, can disrupt hormonal systems in marine organisms, and then eventually make their way up the food chain to humans. Economic costs. The fishing and tourism industries also suffer. Ghost nets, or abandoned fishing nets, tangle and kill marine animals, while trash washing up on beaches drives tourists away and increases cleanup costs for coastal communities. Now, to understand why the GPGP exists, we need to talk about ocean gyres. Gyres are created by the Earth's rotation and the wind, forming circular currents that trap debris in their centers. The North Pacific Gyre, one of the largest, acts like a massive whirlpool, pulling in trash from all over the Pacific Ocean. But the GPGP didn't appear overnight. It is the result of decades of human activity. Plastics, which became widely used after World War II, didn't biodegrade like organic materials do. Instead, they break down into smaller and smaller pieces over time. Every single plastic bottle, straw, or bag that makes its way into the ocean can eventually find itself in one of these gyres, contributing to the growing patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch raises an interesting question. Should it be considered a geographic feature? Traditional geography focuses on physical landscapes like mountains, rivers, and islands, but the GPGP doesn't fit neatly into any of those categories. It's not static, 
it moves and changes with the ocean currents. It's not natural, it's entirely man-made, yet it has become a significant place in the Pacific Ocean, influencing marine life, weather patterns, and even human activity. Perhaps it's time to expand our definition of geography to include features like the GPGP, which are created by the intersection of human and natural systems. The Ocean Cleanup Project One of the most prominent efforts to tackle the GPGP is the Ocean Cleanup, a nonprofit organization founded by Boyan Slat. Their innovative systems use long, floating barriers to collect plastic debris from the surface of the ocean. Since 2019, they have removed over 100,000 kilograms of trash from the patch, but there is still a long way to go. Prevention is key. Now, while cleanup efforts are crucial, preventing plastics from entering the ocean in the first place is even more important. This includes reducing single-use plastics, improving waste management systems, and supporting policies that promote sustainable alternatives. International Collaboration the GPGP isn't a problem that any one country can solve. It requires international cooperation, as the debris comes from many different nations. Global agreements, like the United Nations Plastic Pollution Treaty, are essential to addressing the root causes of the problem. Despite growing awareness and innovative solutions, tackling the Great Pacific Garbage Patch remains an uphill battle. The patch is remote, its debris spread out over a massive area, and new plastics enter the ocean every day. However, with continued efforts and global commitment, there is hope for a cleaner, healthier ocean. The future of the GPGP isn't just about cleaning up. It's about changing how we think about waste. It is a wake-up call to reconsider our relationship with plastic and work toward a more sustainable world. So, is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch really an island of trash? Not quite. It's more like a toxic soup spread across millions of square kilometers. But its impact nevertheless is undeniable. It challenges our understanding of geography, ecosystems, and even our responsibility to the planet. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the world's most pressing environmental issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you can stay updated with more geographic explorations. Have a topic that you'd like us to cover next? Drop a comment below. We would love to hear from you.